What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do the Heart's Desire reading for the sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, this one is for you. Sorry about that pop, that's that sage. Okay, because we just finished Libra and needed to cleanse the energy. Okay, all the decks have been reshuffled. Um, Although I may shuffle again while we're on camera, um, of course, for the heart's desire, um, the heart's oracle, and the power of surrender. And then we have the mystic Mondays and the muse, okay? Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So... I hope you guys are enjoying your energy this week, okay? Hopefully some changes have been made, okay? Um, as I said in Libras, I will say in y'alls, okay, is that I am an intuitive reader, okay? If you are watching my channel or any videos on my channel, it's because you want to be a better version of yourself than you were yesterday, okay? So you have to take accountability for yourself, um, be open to truth, okay, whether it be good or bad, okay, um, but I do provide intuitive messages across the board, okay, but you have to be open and honest with yourself, okay, this, this is true readings here, okay, so without being too lengthy, okay, <laughs> with y'all's reading, we're going to start with the Mystic Mondays. If you're not familiar with Heart's Desire, it did take the place of the self-care um, spotlight messages. We are going to pull one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle, which is going to be representation of your present, past, and future energy. We'll look at the bottom of the deck for your overall outcome, okay? So, let's get into it. One from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. Okay. And we'll flip over the bottom momentarily after we look at the three cards here. Okay. The muse will be used to clarify the top row, your main storyline. And then we'll look at the bottom of the deck of that one as well. Um, again, with the top, bottom, and middle. Okay. And then clarifying your overall outcome as well. Okay. So let's see what we have here for you guys, Cancer. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of of wands okay for your past energy okay knight of pentacles is your current energy okay and then the seven of swords okay seven of swords okay so cancer i feel like in your present status here being the knight of pentacles you are becoming a little bit more stable, okay? Um, understanding of value of either yourself or someone else, okay? Um, which is a good sign. I like seeing this here, okay? With the Knight of Wands being in the past energy, I feel like you were kind of like player energy with this, Wands is usually in reference to of a lot of action, things of that nature, okay? Um, building things, foundation, things of that nature. However, it can be sometimes in a mischievous type way, okay? So in your past, you were probably known as the player. And you kind of look at the difference in their dress wear here, and I'll hold these up so you guys can see. If you pay attention to their clothing options he's a little bit more dapper the knight of wands and while the knight of pentacles is more a little bit more like relaxed okay and laid back okay um so 
You could be someone who's as different as night and day. You have a, a tendency to maybe switch, okay? Maybe during the day you are, or in the past, um, you were more so the player type, okay? Um, very Casanova-ish, okay? And then with the Knight of Pentacles is how you are at night behind closed doors, okay? You are relaxed. You have something um, of value to you, okay? Or you know um, what your worth or value is, okay? Um, and you want to pretty much keep it to yourself or looking for someone presently, you're looking for someone who can actually value you as a person, okay? Whereas in the past, you were just looking for a good time, okay? Future, we'll move on. Seven of Swords being here. As you see, there's six swords around her with one sword behind her back, the moon there, okay? Um, feel like in the future, those or the person or anyone basically who may be of interest to you, you may start holding, you may hold back some things from them. You may hold back your past from them, okay? Um, as it may represent you in the wrong light, okay? You want the person to see you for who you are now, not your past, okay? So I feel like you are going to possibly hide some things from this person, like your past is not important. Um, you may not, now when you do this, <laughs> you may say, oh, enough about me. And sometimes people do this in conversation when they're dating someone. Oh, enough about me. Let's talk about you, okay? It does make you come off as caring and alluring to someone when you do that, okay? And that you are more of a listener instead of a talker, okay? Which is a plus, okay? In most, um, in the dating scene, okay? However, this person is going to want to know things about you that you are not willing to relinquish, okay? And that may pose a problem um, with this person, okay, in, in the near future, okay? So um, while it is nice that you consider them to talk about themselves more, make sure it doesn't have to be like, oh, I slept with my best friend's girlfriend while he was away on business. It don't have to be anything like that. <laughs> but <laughs> little tiny stuff about yourself, such as, you know, maybe the first time you fell in love with someone or something like that is something very small, minute, that isn't, you know, too detrimental where the person will be like, <gasps> you know, hard gasp. <laughs> you don't want to do anything like that. It's not that they're wanting to know things of that nature, but they just want to know little lighthearted things about you. Like if you played sports, you know, when you were younger or, you know, did you have a pet, you know, things like that. Okay, and you slowly start to progress your way up to the bigger things, okay? As it relates to whatever you're talking about with that person, okay? That person may not need to know everything about your past, but they may want to just know little intricate details about yourself, okay? So let's turn the deck over for Mystic Mondays and see what the overall outcome is for you, Cancer, okay? And we have the star. Okay, very nice. I, I like seeing this. This is really good. This I'm hearing accomplishment, okay, of finding that person that you are able to connect with in a sense of a possible relationship, okay, um, where they compliment you, okay, and I feel as though they may have the same history as you, okay, They've played the field long enough in the past, and now they want something stable, okay? Something of value, all right? They also could be hiding something from you as well, um, but it's not in a sense of ill intention of hiding from you. It's just they don't see it as being necessary to talk about, okay? The same as you, okay? Like I said, in your intimacy reading, you could be dealing cancer on cancer in your relationship. And I still kind of feel that a little bit, okay? It may not be their sun sign, but it could be a placement in their chart, okay? So, let's move on, 
okay, to the Muse Tarot, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle, okay? So we got one from the top for the Knight of Pentacles, we have one directly from the bottom for the Knight of Wands, and then we have one in the middle for the Seven of Swords, okay? And we will turn this over, the deck over momentarily to see what you have at the bottom, which will clarify the star and the overall outcome of the clarifiers here, okay? So, okay, so we have the Seven of Inspiration, the Four of Voices, and the World Cosmos, which would be the world in regular Tarot, okay? The Seven of Inspiration is Seven of Wands, okay? Seven of Wands. Clarifying your Knight of Pentacles here, Cancer, okay? I do feel like with this coming out in your present is you are blocking out anything that is of, is not of value to you, okay? With the Seven of Wands, okay? Seeing this star above her head here, okay, is kind of makes me feel like you're coming to a realization of what it is that you want surrounding you, okay? And if that means blocking out any negativity or anything that's not positive in nature, you're going to block it out as you are seeing your value or the value of your person and you don't want anything disturbing it in your present, okay? Let's move on. Knight of Wands being clarified by the Four of Voices. Four of Voices and the Muse is the Swords, okay? Swords energy, so Four of Swords, okay? In the past, you spent a lot of time wondering why you were in this energy, why you were in this player energy, okay? Um, kind of looking, I'm hearing like looking at lineage, looking at family lines, basically, um, possibly seeing or realizing in your past that it was learned behavior, okay? Um, taking what you learned from what you saw from someone else and you took it on as your own persona, okay? So you kind of took the time to really look at yourself in the past and maybe being this player type energy no longer suited you in the past. You made that defining moment or decision that, you know what, this is very unfulfilling, okay? Me being this type of way, I need to, to straighten up and that's why you're in this Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? Next, excuse me, we have the Seven of Swords clarifying the world, okay? Clarifying with the world for the Seven of Swords. Okay, future energy. Like I said, it's possibly going to come to an end with this hiding of information, okay? hiding truths from yourself or from another person, okay? Where you won't have to do that anymore. You'll kind of see that possibly your person your person is just like looking in the mirror, okay? You're one and the same. You move about the same way. You have the same ideals. You have the same values. Um, you have possibly the same pain as this person, okay? But you won't find that out until you actually communicate with them, okay? And you'll realize you have a lot more in common than what you thought you did, all right? So let's turn the deck over and see what your bottom card is. <laughs> justice, justice is the bottom card, clarifying the overall energy of your clarifiers and of the star. Okay, justice prevails. Okay, you will finally get 
that person that you're seeking, okay? You will finally have that connection that you've been longing for, where it's not just a partner that you've gained. You've gained a lover. You've gained a friend. You've gained a confidant. You've gained a, a, an advisor, any and everything that you've always looked for, okay? Um, you will finally feel complete, okay, um, with this person. Like I said, it's just like looking in the mirror. You're both the same, okay? You've both been on the same type of journey, just in different places, okay? And now you have finally crossed paths and everything just seems to click with the two of you, okay? So this is very beautiful energy, Cancer. I really like this. This has really changed from your intimacy reading. Let's go into the hearts oracle deck. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these three times before we go and look at the bottom of the deck. And I'll read the passage from the book so that way we can get some additional messages for you as far as the final outcome or advice for you. And then the power of surrender is just some supporting advice. Okay. So one more time on the Hearts Oracle. And then go ahead and cut three times. Okay. So. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you guys of the Hearts Oracle. Hmm. Release. Number 13. Equaling out to four. Okay. Talking about protecting yourself. Okay. Protecting your mind's eye in my opinion. Okay. But really protecting yourself. Okay. And possibly releasing yourself from all that pain in the past. Okay. The past is done. I've said this before, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda, okay? You can go over your past 50 million times. It still can't be changed, okay? What's done is done. The most important thing about past is that you evolve from it. You get lessons from it and, and you become a better person because of it, okay? If none of that happens for you, it's because you're refusing to change and you're refusing to release it and you're pretty much staying in the sense of wanting to be a victim, okay? Depending on what it is that you have trouble with or that you are hiding with the Seven of Swords, okay? Could be some traumas there as well. We all have traumas. The thing is actually looking at those traumas and understanding them and realizing that you are not the cause of them, okay? And just releasing it, all right? So... I'm going to read this from the book. It is on page 55. Five meaning out change. Five and five equal now to 10. One enlightenment. Okay. So if you follow numerology, we're at 1835 on your reading. Release. Number 13. Your key words here are discard, shed, end, transformation, freedom, and empowerment. Okay. An opportunity for renewal around affairs of the heart is available at this time, and it's quite possible that this renewal will happen through release. It is in letting go that you discover what remains, what is truly yours. Sometimes in relationships, you may feel the need to hold on tightly to those you love, whether or not this love is returned. This can lead to tension and unhappiness for all involved. Even in a good relationship, holding on too tightly doesn't allow the relationship to breathe, grow, and mature. Are you restricting someone or trying to attract someone through your will? Discard any need for control and see how the relationship transforms. Watch how releasing the overwhelming need for a relationship allows the perfect one to appear. Shed any beliefs and behaviors that do not serve your highest good. Throughout life, we receive m many mixed and often incorrect messages about how a relationship should work. 
let go of any preconceived notions or expectations about your relationships or your lack of them. By doing so, your current relationships can flow and flourish in a way that is best for everyone. By being yourself, you also attract to you the relationships that will serve you best. This is also a card of possible endings. Are there relationships that you cling to that you would be better off leaving? In letting go of a stagnant or difficult situation, you empower yourself, opening the way for new and rewarding relationships. Your affirmation is, I let go of expectations and open myself to relationships that flow and grow. Your archetype is death. So this is in relation to the death card. Okay. So just like I said before, letting go or blocking anything that is not serving you in the present. Okay. With this seven of inspiration, seven of wands. Okay. Coming to a realization in your past of things that you needed to let go with this four of voices, meaning four of swords. Okay. And coming to a completion. Okay of what you need in your life and what you need to let go of, okay? There's one last thing that you need to let go of so you can move forward with this relationship, followed by the Justice card here, okay? Kind of coincides with it. Very, very wonderful spread, Cancer. Let's go into the power of surrender, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these three times and we'll wrap up your reading. Very, very beautiful energy. I love how this has changed drastically <laughs> from your first two readings this week. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So one more after this shuffle and then we'll cut three times and we'll read the bottom of the deck. The message is on the cards already. There is no book with this deck. Okay. So it's pretty much plain and simple. So, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck of the power of surrender. Res uh, surrender to receiving support and love. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Okay, very beautiful. I'm going to read that one more time for y'all, okay? Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in, meaning your person, rather than trying to handle everything yourself, okay? Meaning, you know the value of yourself, okay? You know the value of your person. You do not have to handle the relationship yourself. It takes two to tango in everything. As you see, there are two bears here. Okay, it's not one bear bossing the other bear around. It's working together, okay? This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And this person is willing to do that for you, okay? So with that being said, that is all I have for you guys, Cancer. Very beautiful energy. I hope you guys keep this up. And I will see y'all in y'all word from the Ancestors reading on Thursday. Peace.